Okay, I just want to correct myself quickly. At this point, we can uh, we can put back on the rear piece of door panel trim here, door door uh, foot footwell trim here. But uh, the front, we're gonna have to wait because the carpet actually fits underneath here. So I misspoke. This this trim panel we're gonna leave loose for now, and now we're gonna focus on the venting. Uh, we've got this left hand vent and this right uh, console vent here, and they're gonna be connected by these pieces of trim, which you're gonna see again when you remove it. Again, very straightforward. Uh, and uh, this is actually to the right hand side. Uh, and so you're gonna see, let me move this out of the way, these uh, pieces, okay, a vent. Sorry about the camera work here, but the pieces of vent are just gonna follow. Uh, let's move this wiring. Keep that nice and loose. Okay, again, here's the, these are the, this is the wiring that attaches to the C, three or four connectors here. And we'll get to that in a second. But for now, we're gonna thread this on here and I'm doing this one-handed so y'all can see. But you kind of get the idea, this just goes loosely in like that. Very simple, very easy. I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna attach this additional vent, foaming vent as well. And that is the venting that is gonna connect your center console to your pillars, probably head back to the uh, rear of the vehicle. So uh, please keep an eye on the orientation of your cabling. Make sure it gets through that notch. As you know, at this point, we are done with the venting and we're about ready to replace the carpet. We're just gonna put the carpet back and then we're gonna finish this trim piece and we are largely done with the uh, uh, the entire kind of under the seat area. At that point, we're going to put the seat back. Uh, and just while I'll start, you can see seats very quite simple to do. There are four bolts here: one, two, three, and four. Okay, fourth bolt. Sorry about that. Works a little bit of refuse here, but there's the fourth right here underneath that pedestal there. Once the seat goes back in, okay, we're going to leave it loose and tilt it back and then we're going to connect the wiring and I'll, I'll demonstrate how to do that. But at this point, we're going to place the carpet, put the trim back. I've showed you where we're going to lay the seat. So we're going to have the seat in here and tilted back so you can see how to connect the seat next. Uh, and we're just about near the finish line on this project here.